Hi, my name is Samir Mitra Gotri. I'm the Titular Professor of Bioengineering at Harvard University. And with me is Christopher Jones, the Lowe's Family Professor from Georgia Tech. And Chris is a 2016 winner of the NTS Acreos Award for Professional Progress in Chemical Engineering. Welcome, Chris. Thank you, Samir. It's nice to be here. Great. So Chris gave a wonderful talk on his research for the award lecture today. Chris, can you tell us a bit more about your research? Sure. Um, so I'm a materials researcher. Uh, educated as a chemical engineer, and I've been working at Georgia Tech for 17 years. Um, and the materials that we use, we primarily apply for two applications, uh, one in separations and the other in catalysis. And today I had the opportunity to talk about a class of materials based on amine modifi modified silica materials that we've used extensively for carbon dioxide separations. Uh, we also use similar materials for applications in catalysis. And so a synthetic materials chemistry focus uh, with the thinking of a chemical engineer trying to attack uh, real world problems. Fantastic. So for research in this area, where do you see the future opportunities for young researchers? I think that uh, there's a, a large number of researchers in the world today working on uh, materials for environmental applications. And I think where the real innovation needs to come is with people like chemical engineers who have the ability to uh, couple strong materials chemistry work with process engineering. So the literature currently is quite full of many uh, new materials that uh, chemists, material scientists, and chemical engineers are developing, but too infrequently are they coupled with uh, advances in process design. And for large-scale separation processes addressing environmental applications, it's that marriage between materials and process that's very important. So I think that's an, uh, a ripe area for any new researchers. Fantastic. So in addition to be a fantastic researcher and a teacher, you are also an associate vice president for research. Can you tell us a bit about that role? Sure, I can. That, that's a role that I started about four years ago. And I've enjoyed the opportunity to work in an administrative and, and leadership role. Uh, this particular position appealed to me because I'm passionate about graduate education and, and research. And in this role, what I do is I uh, act as a, a leader and manager for interdisciplinary research on campus. So most people at universities understand the standard university structure of uh, colleges and departments or schools. Uh, that can be viewed as a vertical organizational structure for a university. Uh, we also at Georgia Tech have a horizontal structure on the research side in the form of 11 research institutes. Uh, so one that you would be familiar with uh, is the Institute for Bioscience and Bioengineering, or IBB, which has been around at Georgia Tech for about 20 years, and they manage interdisciplinary research across the departments and colleges um, in any area related to uh, bioscience and bioengineering. So in my role working for the Executive Vice President for Research, I get to work with these institutes and help them to strategically manage research process projects that might include social scientists, business researchers, engineers, scientists, computers, etc. And so that's allowed me to have a view of campus that's much broader than the world of science and engineering that we normally deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And so it's been very intellectually stimulating and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Great. That's a fantastic service to the university. So congratulations, Chris, and thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it, Samir, and uh, thank you for your time.